Hi there, it's Leanne from Sona Pilates. Just going to run through a few tips to help you support your body and posture whilst you're working um, at your desk. So the first thing we want to take a look at is what you're sitting on. In, if you're using an office chair like this one, we want to make sure that it's at the right height and angle for you. So we want to have both feet in a parallel position on the floor. They can find the floor easily. Knees are just slightly lower than the pelvis and your back can actually rest quite easily into the back of the chair. It'll be on a slight 10 degree angle and you can have that lower back support that these office chairs do give you supporting armrests at the right height for you as well and then double checking that this is going to be the right height for when you come to your desk so the way to do that is to double check when you come in and the elbows can stay by the side of the body quite relaxed and that the rest of the arm forearm wrist and fingertips lengthen out and can stay lovely and flat from that position to come onto the desk to help you work your shoulders can soften away from the ears, the feet can stay planted, and this is your supporting position. For any moment when you do rest back, it's there, but most of the time you're on your sitting bones, soft ribs, crown of the head and the mouth over the rib cage, the rib cage over the pelvis and pelvic floor. Then we wanna double check if we need to adjust anything. So we wanna go with your screen first because that's what you're going to be looking at and working with. It wants to be about an arm length away, an arm length distance away and the top of your screen wants to be around eye level so for example something like my laptop on this desk makes it quite low i could play around with the chair but obviously the desk height can change a little bit but that's a bigger job so i put it up on some blocks maybe it could be books and again then this would change what's going on as you can see in my wrist um, I'm going to have to strain in order to find it because I'm keeping it at arm's length. So what we would want is an adjustable or an attached keyboard down here, allowing me to work with ease and a related, a related mouse as well that can stay close to my body, not way out here having to do the work, drawing on strain, changing your posture. So we want to stay nice and even, nice and planted over our sitting bones, supported by the chair, working in this nice comfortable range, almost within your kind of first layer hemisphere of your body. If anything does need just adjusting heights and changes of tables and chairs, it will also address all the way down to your feet. For example, if I was going to stay with this and bring my chair higher to adjust my wrist so they stay straight, as the chair comes up, my legs are going to be floating a little bit, so I may need something like a footrest to help support so my feet are planted on something and you can play around with moving and keeping mobility just in your feet so pointing into the toes and doing calf raises lengthening out through the leg and circling and then taking regular breaks to wriggle out through the fingers roll the wrists roll the shoulders soften chin to chest so taking small movements for you and then bigger movements after longer periods of time and then more active movement focused where it's five to ten minute exercises every two hours so we've taken a little look at your screen height the distance how to ensure that you can keep the forearm and the wrist lovely and long and not in any deep flexion in either way which will be drawing on the fascia which comes all the way up into the back of you so keeping this comfortable lovely easy length elbows into the side of the body forearm lovely and long wrists as well so do you need a keyboard do you need an adjustable mouse does this need to be higher further away from you what can you support here in the body depending on your chair depending on your desk but take a little look around your home at what your options are I don't use a desk chair like this in my home office, I use a stool. So I sit pretty much on the sitting bones, feet nice and planted and stay quite tall. And we all know I like to move and wriggle. Which is another point, every so often throughout your day you could adjust your seating options. 
So the first thing you can do is you can play around with um, one prickle stimulating ball and place it in underneath a sitting bone, causing the pelvis to come into this lovely gentle tilt. The hip that's dropping away with no prickle stimulation ball underneath the sitting bone, you'll start to get a lovely yawn here over the side of the body. 10 minutes, carry on with your work. Take this out, allow that hip to drop down, pelvic floor, starting to adjust to this, this fascial yawn, and then switch through to the other side. We like the sense that the body can continuously be put into movement and you're reminded of your sitting bones and not slumping, head forward, pelvis tilted, off your sitting bones. Something like an air cushion, prickly side or non-prickly side, is really good as well. So it gives you a little bit of height, but because of the quality of it and the feel, your pelvis can then constantly turn, tilt, and be mobile. And when it's mobile, it's starting to move the fascia, keep everything hydrated above you, above the pelvis, so your lower back, and below, down into the backs of the legs, the knees, and the quads. And obviously our biggest option for this is to use something like a gym ball, Maybe after lunch, getting into the afternoon when we're starting to get a little bit, a bit sluggish and tired, being on something that does challenge the body in our seated position. Again, we talked about this. If it's going to drastically move the configuration that you've got so perfect, that's pretty much okay then for just 15 minutes. After that, come back onto the chair that supports your posture and your wrists and your shoulders. But because you're on this for 15 minutes and you're moving, it's great because um, the rest of the body's moving with you. So even if the wrists are like this, you're moving with them. You'll be coming in off and on. Maybe you'll be rolling away on it. Um, so that's okay for about 15 minutes. If, however, it's the perfect height, you can get bigger ones than this and you don't have to adjust anything, swap it in for a full day. That's totally fine. And then the last thing to think about is to consider where you have objects placed around you at your desk. So coming into your desk, working away, and then noticing you need to reach for something that you often extend from the fingertips first and go to grab that object. You'll find an opposite yawning pull where your body goes, hold on a minute. <laughs> That's not the most efficient way to do that. You might get little niggles coming in. So we do want you to move like a JCB digger. And they move a little bit like we can on these um, office chairs. So we can turn the whole of our body, so the full uh, center axis of our JCB digger turns. We can hip hinge and forward fold, which they can do. They can tilt as well. They put um, oppositional um, struts down to support them and weight so they counterbalance. Then we can lengthen the arm then we can dig the hole or pick up what we need. So opposed to the body going here, and we have an oppositional strain, we can turn and put things back with efficiency, especially if the item is heavy. So a heavy box file, or you're reaching for that big jug of water, move yourself closer or get yourself up out of your chair and move towards that heavier object and bring it back closer to the center of you just like you do when you're picking up a heavy object off the floor, for example. So yes, there are other um, points in the PDF that I sent you. So checking in with the screen glare, adjusting um, your eyewear, especially if you've got bifocals, taking a look at um, inspiration on your desktop, closing all tabs when you leave your desk for your break and walk, um, so that you come back to something inspirational. I think I need to change this. <laughs> Just reminds me that that's what I'm up to. Um, so yeah, something that can say, have you taken a walk? Have you made that phone call to a friend? Are you hydrated enough? Keep your water nearby. Create an atmosphere in your office that helps support your well-being as well. And if you've got any questions, um, or any queries, or you'd like me to take a little look at your office space over a video chat with you and see what we can do with the things you have in your house and home to support your posture, your body, um, and your well-being whilst you're at your desk, then do get in touch.
See you in class again soon and enjoy the videos coming your way.